Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a functional equation. Uh, this problem is sort of homemade because I haven't seen this problem anywhere else, but a easily anyone can come up with a problem like this. These are very, very easy to make. So we have f of x plus 1 over x equals x to the fifth power plus 1 over x to the fifth power. And we're supposed to find an expression for f of x. Now we're going to use substitution here and let me tell you I'll be presenting three methods and let's start with the first one. For my first method I'm going to set this expression equal to y and you hopefully know why. From here we're going to square both sides let's go ahead and square both sides and that's going to give us x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 2 times x times 1 over x, but I can just write it as a 2, as a shortcut. And this is going to be y squared. So from here, I can isolate x squared plus 1 over x squared. It becomes y squared minus 2. So this is something that we're going to be using all the time. Now let's go ahead and cube our expression. We know that x plus 1 over x is equal to y. And let's see if we can cube both sides. My goal is to get to the second power and then to find the third power and I kind of put them together to get the fifth power. So if you cube this expression, you know my favorite formula for a plus b to the third power is the following. I usually use a cubed plus b cubed plus 3ab multiplied by a plus b. This kind of seems to be more compact and helpful for factoring uh, purposes, for these kinds of problems especially. So I'm going to go ahead and cube this uh, first term and the second term, and then I'm just going to multiply 3 times a, b, but a times b, notice that this is a and this is b by the way, a times b is 1, so it's just going to be a 3, and that'll be, that'll be multiplied by a plus b, which is x plus 1 over x, and that is equal to y cubed. Now we do know that x plus 1 over x is equal to y. So from here we can isolate x cubed plus 1 over x cubed as y cubed minus 3y. So that is my expression for the sum of the cubes and I got something for sum of squares. Why don't we put, why don't we put these two together? So here's what we're going to do next. Let's go ahead and take this and the squares and multiply them together because that's definitely going to give us the fifth powers and some extra terms, but those extra terms are easy to handle. So if you distribute, you get x to the fifth plus x cubed multiplied by 1 over x squared is just going to be x. 1 over x cubed multiplied by x squared is just going to be 1 over x. And finally, we're going to get 1 over x to the fifth power. Now, we do know that both of these expressions. The first one is y cubed minus 3y. And the second one is, second one is y squared minus 2 if you look at our cheat sheet. Now we have on the right hand side x to the fifth plus 1 over x to the fifth and this guy over here happens to be the y value, right? That was the initial substitution. Now we can just go ahead and focus on isolating x to the fifth plus 1 over x to the fifth and put the y on the left hand side or right hand side, who knows, we're just going to flip sides here and write the x to the fifth plus 1 over x to the fifth as the product here, I'm going to write it as a product first, and then I'm going to distribute minus the y. Now let's go ahead and multiply these together. And we're going to get y to the fifth power. And if I can keep a long story short for you, this is going to be, <coughs> excuse me, this is going to be y to the fifth minus 5y to the third plus 5y. So that is going to be our answer. But how? Remember we called this expression, uh, x plus 1 over x, we called it y. So we now have f of y equals this. f of y is equal to y to the fifth minus 5y cubed plus 5y. And since we're looking for an expression in x, we can turn this into f of x as x to the fifth minus 5x to the third plus 5x. Don't worry about the initial x. They're definitely different x's. All right, let's go ahead and talk about this second method here the second method. My second method is different because it uses the formula for a to the fifth plus b to the fifth. And let me go ahead and write it down. That's a really cool formula. If you factor, first of all, if you have the sum of two odd powers, it's always factorable. a plus b is a factor and the other factor is a to the fourth minus a cubed b 
plus a squared b squared minus a b cubed plus b to the fourth power. It's pretty much the same as binomial theorem, the second factor, without the binomial coefficients, sort of. And if you distribute, you're going to get the sum of fifth powers. Make sense? Okay, now let's go ahead and use it with x to the fifth plus 1 over x to the fifth. a is x, b is 1 over x. So we get x plus 1 over x from here. And then from the second part, we get x to the fourth minus x cubed multiplied by 1 over x plus x squared times 1 over x squared minus x times 1 over x cubed plus 1 over x to the fourth power. And then we're going to simplify this expression. Let's see, x squared cancels out. Here we get x squared. Here we get x squared at the bottom, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and uh, arrange this a little bit. We got x plus 1 over x. And then here we have x to the fourth plus 1 over x to the fourth. And then we have minus x squared minus 1 over x squared. But I can go ahead and write it in parentheses. It's kind of negated. Plus 1. Don't forget the 1. And now we have an expression for x to the fifth plus 1 over x to the fifth. Awesome. Now we're going to do pretty much the same thing, but it's just in a different way. We know that x plus 1 over x is equal to y. So we're going to go ahead and raise this to the second power. And then from here we're going to get x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 2 as before. And from here this is going to be y squared minus 2. And now we're going to square this one more time. So that's probably what makes this method different, that we square twice. And this is going to give us x to the fourth plus 1 over x to the fourth plus 2ab. But again, that is a 2. And now we do have an expression for x squared plus 1 over x squared, which is y squared minus 2. We're going to square that and set it equal to x to the fourth plus 1 over x to the fourth plus 2. And if we were to isolate this, it would equal, it would equal y squared minus 2 quantity squared minus 2. Let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit because that's what we're going to substitute in our expression. This is going to be y to the fourth minus 4y squared. And then we're going to get plus 4 minus 2, but that is just going to be a positive 2 there. So this is the sum of fourth powers. I have something for squares and sum of fourth powers. Let's go ahead and plug it in here. But let, before that, let me copy that formula here. This x to the fifth plus 1 over x to the fifth is equal to the x plus 1 over x multiplied by x to the fourth plus 1 over x to the fourth minus x squared plus 1 over x squared. And I believe there is a plus 1 at the end. Yes, that is what we get. Now, we do know that x plus 1 over x is equal to y. x to the fourth plus 1 over x to the fourth is equal to y to the fourth minus 4y squared plus 2. And x squared plus 1 over x squared is equal to y squared minus 2 in parentheses and finally plus 1. Let's go ahead and distribute this simplified and then we'll multiply by y. We get y to the fourth minus 4y squared minus y squared. That gives us minus 5y squared plus 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 1 plus 5. If you distribute the whole thing, then you're going to get y to the fifth minus 5y cubed plus 5y, which is the same as before. But remember, this is f of y. And f of x is just going to be x to the fifth minus 5x cubed plus 5x. And if you still have some patience, let's go ahead and go over the third method. And my third method is actually very different. And this is one of the methods that I think uh, has been suggested by one, uh, some of the viewers. So we're pretty much start off with the same idea, but the, we proceed differently. So set it equal to y, and if you don't like y, and I'm not going to ask you why you don't like y, let's call it z. Now, I have x plus 1 over x is equal to z. Now I'm going to solve it as a quadratic equation. Multiply both sides by x, you get x squared plus 1 equals zx. Put the zx on the left and solve this as a quadratic equation in x, not z, because z is not quadratic. x becomes negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, which is 4 divided by 2. So this gives us two solutions for x. Let me tell you which one we're going to use. And let me tell you, it doesn't matter. And I'll tell you why. So x, there's going to be two solutions here, right? Then they're kind of conjugates. And the reason why it doesn't matter is because if x is one of them, 
the other one is going to be 1 over x. If you flip one of these, you're going to get the other. You can kind of test it for yourself. But basically, from here we get x uh, to the, well, here's what we're going to get. We get f of z. Remember, we call this z. So we get f of z equals x to the fifth plus 1 over x to the fifth. I'm just going to place x with this one. It doesn't really matter because it's going to give you the exact same thing. You can check it out. So I get z plus square root of z squared minus 4 over 2 to the fifth power. And then z minus square root of z squared minus 4 over 2 to the fifth power. So we kind of have like a sum of two fifth powers. The binomial theorem applies. And that's kind of time consuming. So to save some time, I'm going to give you the answer. It's going to become z to the fifth minus 5z to the third. It's amazing how all these radicals cancel out because uh, they come in plus and minuses and we're going to get the following from f of z. And then, as a result, f of x is going to be x to the fifth power minus 5x to the third power plus 5x. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.